Ann from Catan Fashions here in Strawsville, Ohio. Just back from Market Week in Chicago. Very exciting, very invigorating, and also I'm here today to give you all the updated fashion news. What's not, what's hot, and what is in the bridal industry. The trends this year are running pretty well much like the 2010 trends which is a lot of ruffles, a lot of foo-foo, either no beading, a lot of beading, but the number one skirt is the ball gown. Ball gown with pockets, like Sex in the City. The main color is diamond white. And your average price point is between $1,200 and $1,800, although there's many at a lower price and a higher price. One of the exciting things that happened at market for me this year was the launching of the new Disney line by Alfred Angelo, and also the Disney prom dresses. This was an exciting venue that now has been executed in the proper manner. The wedding gown does look like Cinderella, Snow White, Ariel, Jasmine, and it goes on and on. There will be seven new styles here in January of 2011. All beautiful, constructed excellently, and executed as a true wedding gown with a fairy tale fantasy design. There's many things at market that are exciting. We will be bringing in Anzoni this year, Anzoni Blue, and Anzoni Couture. These are two items that are very, very instrumental in broadening our line of wedding gowns for our brides in the Midwest. The gowns are much European style, a very fine fabric, a lot of flounces, uh, a, a lot of execution in the ball gown area and also in the shearing of the material, ribboning, flowers, dimensional design. This seems to be the flair for 2010 and 11. It started probably three or four years ago in Europe and took that long to get here and by the launch of it in 2010 it's finally caught on. As far as headpieces are concerned, an array of silk and feathers. Tiaras are still popular, headbands are in, flowers are definitely in. Little bit of veiling or a lot of veiling. Again it depends on the style of the gown, the amount of beading, the amount of lace work, and that will take us either to the left or to the right. But again, very exciting, very unusual, uh, very 1940s with the flowers in your hair. Very much 1940s. As we went down the line and we looked at bridesmaid dresses and prom dresses, one of the biggest colors for this year will be purple. Purple as in hyacinth, Victorian, uh, a beautiful subtle colors, subtle hues. We go from that to bright, vibrant colors. The emphasis for bridesmaids is on short dresses this year. Why? Well, because with the trends and with the recession, we are finding that the girls get more usage out of the short gowns. Bubble bottoms, floral bottoms, cut out pieces that look like petals. Very unusual styles. The type of neckline, one shoulder. One shoulder is in for prom, bridal, and bridesmaids. Now, let's go to shoes. Well, shoes is another thing. Shoes is becoming the number one thing in any wedding garment. It seems like the girl is picking the shoe and then the gown. Very, very high shoes, three to four inches, made of silk with bows or very extravagant design on them. The shoes seems to be the focus. Also, colored shoes are in. Turquoise, purple, hot pink. They are wearing it with their wedding gowns. They're finding it to be trendy and fun. Another new thing that's come about in 2011 is the second dress. This is a fun dress, usually short, inexpensive in value, that they put on three quarters through the reception to replace their normal wedding gown. These are fun, fancy-filled dresses that are usually of lace, organza, or just pure silk or polyester. Just a fun, lively dress that executes its time to party. 
As we look at market and we look up and down everything that's going on in all the booth spaces, uh, jewelry is another item that is becoming number, number two next to shoes being number one. A lot of the girls are going for a less demonstrative gown and bold jewelry. Large earring, large necklace, and for sure, everybody has room for a three inch rhinestone bracelet. These are the thoughts that I have coming back from market. Fun, vibrant, youthful, but with a flair of the past. This is Patrice Catan with your fashion focus for October 2010.